everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode. I'm really excited here uh, to, to get diving into this subject because I'm joined by Sandeepan Chatterjee, uh, who is the Director of Product Management for Auth Rates, uh, Tokenization and Strategic Partnership, and Nindita Gupta, who is the VP of Core Payment Products and Engineering, who looks at Auth Rates for PayPal Inc. Um, and we're really here today to kind of give you a quick and simplified explanation of authorization rates or kind of shortened to Auth rates if we could, um, and describe why they are important for merchants and how PayPal really kind of contributes to authorization rates specifically. Uh, so Nandita, uh, let's start with you here. I really kind of want to get a pay uh, payments 101 if we could on what is authorization rates or auth rates? Hi, Ryan. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to talk about one of our favorite subjects, auth rate. An authorization rate can be defined as a percentage of transactions that successfully pass through the authorization process to complete a payment. So in other words, what that really means is to identify the auth rate percentage, you have to take the number of successful payment approvals and divide that by the total attempted payment transaction. And that's really your auth rate. And by the way, auth rate is not the same as the conversion rate, though these two metrics are related. Our auth rate does contribute to our overall conversion rate. For example, if the transaction is not authorized, it will not be converted. But there are several other factors outside of the authorization process which impact conversion. Now, Nandita, I'd like to stay with you here for our next question. So maybe perhaps we could take a closer look at, let's say, the top four things that our audience should really know about authorization rates. And maybe then we could talk a little bit about why authorization rates are so important for merchants. Authorization rates are one of the most crucial ways for merchants, small, medium, large, to unlock revenue and can have a direct correlation to the health and the success of an online business. And for global enterprises, small little improvements in authorization rates can make a difference of millions of dollars of volume process. And actually for all businesses, the goal is for the customers to complete their purchase successfully on the very first try and not have to worry about their payment. No, Sandipan, I I want to I want to get to you here for the for this next question, right? Is so we we know why merchants should pay attention to authorization rates here, right? But why are they so uh, important to PayPal in particular? It's a great question. Um, the payments ecosystem has become increasingly aware of the importance of higher auth rates. It is a critical factor for merchants when they are considering payments partners, and PayPal is well positioned to help merchants in this journey. Let's take an example. Let's say a hypothetical e-commerce retailer makes about $100 million in revenue. If they increase their auth rate by 2%, that will result in a 2 million additional revenue. In addition to all of this, our auth rate portfolio is helping PayPal reach our goal of serving 1 billion daily active consumers and 100 million merchants. So Sandipan, let, let, let's stay with you here, right? Because so, I, I really kind of want to get into uh, how exactly does PayPal help merchants improve their authorization rates? Well, there are a number of techniques that PayPal deploys to help us offer higher than industry average approval rates for merchants. The first is our robust data system and partner network. PayPal has an unparalleled global connection and deep relationships with more than 300 million consumers and more than 26 million merchants, as well as global banks, card networks and regulators across 200 countries. Partnerships are a key driver across our business, but they are especially important when it comes to be able to help our merchants achieve high auth rates. Why? Because these partners provide us with insights into card behaviors, adoption rates across the broader ecosystem, and this information helps us focus on opportunities. The second is our next generation risk solution. Our risk algorithms help approve high quality consumers while blocking out fraudsters. We use machine learning, artificial intelligence, and real-time decisioning to more accurately differentiate between good and bad transactions. But machine learning is only as good as the data set it is learning from, and that is where we have a strong advantage due to our data from our two-sided networks on consumer and merchant profiles. Nanita, would you like to take the next one? Absolutely. So the third I'd say is our multiple instrument, funding instruments. Our wallet enables secondary funding mechanisms when your initial payment method is declined. 
For example, if you have your credit card and that gets declined, we in certain use cases automatically move and on and try your debit card to see if that payment method goes through. And when used effectively, we can get really very high approval rates with multiple instruments in the wallet. And the fourth and very important is the network tokenization. Network tokenization works by creating a unique credential for a card that is separate from that 16 digit card number that's imprinted on your physical card, which can now be used for conducting transactions. This is really valuable in the case that a card is expired, lost, stolen, or even breached at another merchant. And with a network token being automatically updated by PayPal, the customer can continue to purchase separately, securely, and without interruption. PayPal has one of the largest network token vaults with hundreds of millions of cards being tokenized in key global markets across PayPal, a number that's really increasing daily. Uh, so, Sandipan and Nandita, uh, thank you so much for walking us through this complex but very important topic of authorization rates. Uh, now, if our listeners want to learn more, uh, they can download the white paper done in partnership with Mercator Advisor Group and PayPal that goes into greater detail around authorization rates and PayPal's position. So, thank you very much, everybody, for your time today and enjoy. <laughs>